Hi, it's Amy with the Hag Reads, and today is day four of Booktubeathon. So I am here with my uh, daily progress vlog. I finished two books uh, between yesterday when I posted in the morning and uh, now, which is uh, seven thirty p.m. here in um, Central Arizona. I am. Uh, Let's see. And I have started um, the lock. So, uh, books I finished. Um, the first one was actually not on my list uh, of things that I, uh, in my TBR. Um, I logged into my OverDrive account to check on something and discovered that I had a book that was coming up due. So, I started that yesterday and finished it up this morning. Um, that would be um, The Dead Town which is um, the fifth book in the Dean Koontz Frankenstein series, and thank God that is over. Um, in my opinion, this five-book series that uh, each book is over 400 pages could have easily been a nice, succinct, well-done duology. The, uh, re the books three, four, and five, in my opinion, were completely unnecessary. They went on at length with no particular, and, and particularly book four, um, even if you take into account four books for the series, um, which I still think is ridiculous, book four was a third of a book at best, and it was a not a very well done third of a book. It went on at length with uh, details setting up for the fifth book, and then they repeated them all over again in the fifth book. So, um, for this series, I really think the first book was a unique and a, an interesting idea um, that was done uh, reasonably well, and but could have been done better. I think it was executed uh, kind of mediocre uh, in terms of the way that Coons actually finished it out. The second book was passable at best. And it kind of went downhill from there for me. I really loved the idea of this, but his execution left me leaving a lot to be desired. The ending was completely anticlimactic. You could see it coming a mile away. There was no... For somebody who had been working on this uh, nefarious plan for 200 years, the reason... that he did not succeed was ridiculously unplausible. If for such a genius given 200 years to plot, plan, and implement the uh, overtaking of the human race by his uh, special new humans or better race or whatever you want to call them, um, it was utterly unbelievable as a premise, uh, the way that things worked out. Uh, the Frankenstein monster was, or, um, yeah, the monster was, um, interesting, but was, uh, portrayed in such a way as he had no development. His resolution was, you know, the, the, his ending involved no character development because he had essentially in the first book reached the pinnacle of his evolution and his abilities um so there was no further development for him by the time we got to the fifth book the uh detective characters from the first novel were minor set pieces at best um and and they weren't interesting at all by that point. I'm just incredibly disappointed in the series as a whole and I would not recommend it to anybody. I, I really thought the first book had some place to go and it just went nowhere. Um, the second book that I finished, uh, I finished it today, maybe a couple hours ago, um, around three or four in the afternoon, and that was Planet Walker, 17 Years of Silence, 22 Years of Walking, by John Francis, Ph.D., and I, um, this was a non-fiction book, and it was excellent. It gave me 
so much to think about and um, hearing about his journey um, for all his years of silence, for all his years of walking, um, and the reasoning behind when he started speaking and riding in uh, cars and, and planes again. Um, I just really enjoyed it. And this is actually a book that I will seek out and buy. Um, there, He did write a second one, um, The Ragged Edge of Silence, which I requested from the library. And I hope that it is just as good. Um, but I will definitely be buying Planet Walker. And then the other thing that I have accomplished today is I am now about 120 pages in uh, to The Lock. By Steve Alton and I am uh, at this point 90% sure I've read this before um, but there is a sequel which I picked up and I will talk about that in my library haul tomorrow when I do a, my, my library haul video for the week um, so far so good um, it's um, what do I want to say about this that <laughs> Probably nothing until I wrap it up. Um, I'm hoping to finish this tonight, if not tomorrow. Um, so I have five books down. This will be my sixth book. And I'm certain between um, tomorrow morning and Saturday at midnight, I can finish a sixth book. But I doubt I'm going to achieve the 11 that I would have liked to. Um, Planet Walker took up more time than, you know, because it's nonfiction. They just, uh, for me... It takes longer to, because to, I have to space it out. Um, I want to digest what I read. I want to think about it. I want to ruminate on it. I want to, you know, I don't want to just consume it, um, shove it in my brain, and then and not and never think about it again. That's For me, that's not really the point of nonfiction, and even some fiction requires a great deal of rumination. A book like The Lock... Um, I think my uh, description before was, I think it's kind of a B grade. This would be a, uh, if it was a movie, it would be a B movie. Um, it's blurbed by a cryptozoologist, and um, yeah, I know there's a lot of fascination around the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> I think if there was actually anything in the Loch Ness, we would have um, found it by now with all the technology available. But the, you know, the myth persists and, and what uh, it could possibly be is a fascinating subject. And I don't think that um, for this foreseeable future anybody will stop writing about it. And I will certainly continue c to consume it because as a, as, a, as a mystery, as a monster, as a possible horrible people eating thing, it's, you know, it has a lot of possibilities. It's the same reason that I love giant stupid shark movies on sci-fi when uh, I used to watch sci-fi. And I will still continue to watch that kind of thing because there's kind of a, you know, train wreck, car crash, staring at the <laughs> bloody mess that it is that just makes me... Um, want to watch more and more of that stuff even though it's incredibly stupid I am still entertained by it um, so I will be back tomorrow that's all I've got for today um, I hope to have this finished um, this evening because it's the kind of fiction that you can just kind of plow through it you, you know it's a relatively easy read um, if I don't finish it tonight I will definitely have it done um, tomorrow, hopefully before noon, so I can start on my sixth book, or my seventh book. So, um, and that will probably be Traveler's Rest, although part of me would love to just read Shudder and the Agatha Christie book that I have on my list, because those would certainly um, be much easier to read and would go more quickly, and that would put me at eight books for the, for the week, but I want to continue with the pattern that I've been having which is to lead, read the longer, more difficult books first and then go into the rest. Who knows, on Saturday I may still pull off two books, um, but I'm not going to hold my breath and I'm not going to push myself. I want to enjoy this as much as possible. Even reading the lock in between tonight uh, and tomorrow is a little bit of a stretch for me. I probably um, would pick up another nonfiction book um, because uh, I think I've read this before and I think I know exactly where it's going. So... 
Um, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you if you have watched the whole video. I hope that you have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you when you watch this and um, that your end of the week is wrapping up nicely. Bye!